we are still unable to reach a unanimous decision. Uh, so at this time, uh, what uh, I am going to do is just uh, declare this trial. Yelling, chaos, explosions of anger. Just a few ways a juror in YNW Melly's double murder trial described deliberations that ended in a deadlock. Thanks for joining us here on Law and Crime. I'm Anjanette Levy. A juror in YNW Melly's double murder trial has spoken to a local TV station in Florida. Melly, whose legal name is Jamel Demons, faces two counts of first degree murder in the October 2018 deaths of his two friends, Chris Thomas Jr. and Anthony Williams, who went by YNW Juvie and YNW Sack Chaser. The jury deliberated for a little more than 16 hours before telling Judge Murphy a second time that they couldn't reach a verdict. Now a juror has described deliberations to Local10.com. There was one juror who had issues with the foreperson from day one, the juror said, at one point folding her arms and saying, done. The former juror described this juror as saying, she was there to cause chaos. It's something we're never going to forget. We were all shaking at the end. Local 10 says the juror told them the woman seemed determined to acquit Melly from day one. The former juror recalled the woman said during voir dire that she could put her feelings aside about past experiences with the legal system. But the juror said that became clear that she couldn't during deliberations. The juror said another juror asked the woman to not shut down and to set her feelings aside. Then the woman exploded. She was explosive, manipulative. She was rude. She yelled insults at anyone who had a different opinion. The juror told the website on the last day of deliberations, they seemed ready to convict Melly of manslaughter by a vote of 11 to one. Then the woman pulled two other jurors aside and brought them to her side. She came over and announced to the group that they had changed their minds. But when another juror asked why she was speaking for them, she exploded. That explosion included insults and gay slurs directed at the juror who questioned her. The former juror decided to speak up after learning that Melly's mom, Jamie King, posted on social media that the vote was nine to three for a not guilty verdict. That's just not true, the juror is quoted as saying. I don't want someone out there changing my vote. You tell a lie enough and it becomes the truth. The former juror said it was nine to three to convict Melly. Melly will be back in court this Friday as his lawyers asked the court to allow them to depose once again Detective Mark Moretti, the lead detective on the case. The defense has made Moretti one of their main targets, claiming he botched the investigation. Jury selection in Melly's retrial is scheduled to begin October 2nd, the same day as his co defendant, Cortland Henry. The cases had been severed, so it's possible Henry's trial date will be postponed. For Law and Crime, I'm Anjanette Levy.